Today I want to show you how to install a 32-bit version of Ubuntu 18.04 LTS. There is no official ISO for Ubuntu 18.04 with 32-bit support, but you can find another way to install a 32-bit installation of Ubuntu 18.04. You have to go to Alternative Downloads on the Ubuntu Downloads page. And there you can find the Net Installer ISOs. You can choose the Network Installer for 19.10, 18.04 or 16.04. You see there is the a Netboot Installer. You can choose AMD64, that means 64-bit or i386 that is 32 bit so you click on that and you get a very small iso with 65 uh, megabyte i installed that in the virtual box so there are no guest editions installed so the, the window you see is very small you can choose from uh, install command line install or advanced options uh, we will choose install not the command line install and if you choose advanced options you have much more to choose from you can configure your installation very detailed but for now we choose install let's start so the first thing you have to do choose your language in my case it would be German but for this installation because it's on my English channel I choose English where is your location so you can set your time zone I choose United States now you have to configure the keyboard layout so in my case as I said it's Germany and I don't want to detect the keyboard layout I want to have a list and so I choose no so I have to search for uh, Germany now with the arrow keys here is German as you see and now there are uh, some options here German or Macintosh no dead keys I choose German so um, it's building up the network at the moment DHCP now you can choose a name for for the host. I I don't change that. You can uh, choose every name you like. Continue with the arrow key. And now we're done. Now we have to choose a mirror a server near you. That's not United States for me. I also will search for Germany here. So where it is, here's Germany. So and this is the server and it's OK. So I confirm with enter. There is no HTTP proxy information needed for me now. So I continue. Now it will install uh, additional components we need for the installation uh, as I said there is nothing on the ISO all have to be downloaded from the internet and this is what's going on now for example the partition manager and other things we need for the installation process so now I have to choose a name for the new user that's me I let's say I'm Joe now I can continue and now a username for the account uh, let's say that's again Joe a password for the new user you can show the password in clear in clear if you want to ensure that there are no typos continue you have to re-enter the password for verify so now we can continue again 
You enter a password that consists of less than eight characters, which is considered too weak. Use the weak password. Uh, yes, if this would be my, my real computer, my production machine, I would choose another password that's longer than eight characters. But here for the um, system on the virtual box, it's not necessary. It's only for testing purposes um, and for this video. So I say yes. Based on the physical location, your time zone is Europe Berlin. Berlin, is that right? Yes, that's right. So now we can install the, oh no, now we have to partition the disk, yeah? We um, can choose from use entire disk or use entire disk and set up LVM or encrypted LVM or we can partition it manually if we have a plan what we want to do, uh, how we want to separate partitions in another way. Um, if we have more than one disk in the PC. As I said, this is a virtual box, so I use the entire disk only for this operating system. No problem. I confirm. And this is the disk SDA that's used. It's a VBOX hard disk. Confirm. So be sure that this is the right disk because everything will be deleted if you confirm with yes. So now we can install the base system of Ubuntu. This takes a little time, so we wait until we see the next uh, window and I pause the video. Now you are asked how you want to manage upgrades on the system. Well, I always choose no automatic updates. I want to do that manually, but you also can uh, choose install security updates automatically. But for me, no. And now you can choose your desktop environment and some other pieces of software. For example, the DNS server, the LAMP server, the mail server, the print server, the Samba file server. But here you also find um, the desktops, for example, Kubuntu Full. or the Kubuntu desktop, Labuntu minimal installation, or the full Labuntu desktop. You can install the Ubuntu Budgie desktop, the Ubuntu desktop, Ubuntu Mate minimal, or Ubuntu Mate desktop, only the desktop without any other software. You can choose Ubuntu Studio desktop, a large selection of font packages, photograph touch-up and editing suite. You can install the vanilla GNOME desktop here, Xubuntu, minimal or the full desktop. Well, I choose the Ubuntu desktop here because this is the desktop you normally will not get as 32-bit. So, let's continue. And now this will take a while because there are many patch packages uh, to be downloaded and to be installed. Let's pause the video. This took a while, but now we can install the grub bootloader on the hard disk. So install the grub bootloader to the master boot record. Yes, we do definitely. Now it's installing the grub bootloader update grub. Now finish the installation. Is the system clock set to UTC? Yes, it is. And now the installation is complete. Be sure to remove 
the installation media, CD-ROM or a stick, so that you boot into the new system rather than restarting the installation. Yes, I know that, so I can continue. Now you can see the login manager. Here is Joe. I click on that, type in my password. All right. Now we can sign in. Here you can choose if you want to use Ubuntu on the Xorg display server or on Wayland. I want to use it with the Xorg display server. Sign in. So now we're in Ubuntu 18.04 LTS, but this is a 32-bit version. Now we go into settings to see if that's right. Details about, and here we see Ubuntu 18.04 32-bit GNOME version 3.28.2. Well, I hope this video could help you a little bit. If yes, check out my other videos on my channel, Joseph's Linux channel. Subscribe to my channel, give me a thumb up. And I would appreciate if you comment on this one and on the other videos I posted. Have a nice week, Joseph.